This is Twit. So we had someone re- write in recently and asked about um, using a Drobo, an older Drobo, and whether it made sense. It was actually a, a person named Dave who had written in, and, and Dave said, hey, I have a Drobo. I've owned it for a long time, and uh, it's working fine, but I'm worried that it's not going to work after a while because it's no longer something that's offered. So is it dangerous for me to continue to use my Drobo? What's dangerous about continuing to use it? And we talked on the show, I say we because I had some great uh, feedback from the the chat room at the time about the security concerns or lack thereof, um, the concerns for the hard drive failing, and, because uh, Dave was also using an old or was using the original hard drives as well. And so we kind of talked about those different issues. Uh, ben was listening to the episode and realized that there was something else worth talking about. Uh, ben says, I heard you talk about Drobo on the recent hands-on tech. I just wanted to add that there's a risk of the Drobo hardware itself failing due to age. A number of users, including my son-in-law, have had internal Drobo hardware failures. As Drobo has gone out of business, the only source of replacement hardware is the used market like eBay. And then here's this, this is interesting. Further complicating the situation is that the Drobo firmware is no longer readily available. What this means is that you'll have to identify the firmware you are using, which is pretty hard if your device is already dead, and then source a used chassis of unknown reliability. And then you have to find the firmware that your now dead Drobo had, flash the used Drobo with the firmware, and move your drive pack to the used Drobo. Uh, Ben says, this is very problematic, and my son-in-law was not successful. Thankfully, his Drobo was only backup and his live versions were still okay. Uh, Ben says, I have moved to internal drives on my Windows server using storage spaces mirroring. This data is the is then backed up via crash plan into an offsite encrypted USB drive. I wholeheartedly agree with Ben here that, yes, the hardware itself can fail. And what I didn't know was the firmware issue that because the firmware is no longer available anywhere, trying to do that is very difficult. And what's particularly troublesome about that is you might have to be getting your firmware from an unreliable source. And so then you're putting firmware on this device that's storing your data. This is just a nightmare. So where before we were kind of talking about, hey, maybe it's time to upgrade those drives. Um, You know, hardware failure is an issue as well. Um, I suppose if the drives are okay, then you can hopefully swap them into something else. But if Drobo, you know, does a little bit, because I've had that issue in the past where um, uh, I had this network attached storage, it was a cheap thing, and it was just one drive. It didn't have a backup or anything like that. It was just one drive, and it was just kind of meant to be, I wouldn't even call it, um, it wasn't really a backup solution. It was just, it was just NAS. It was, it was network attached storage um, that I would put files on and the drive didn't fail, but the system failed around it. And I got a an enclosure for it, and I plugged it into a Windows machine that I had, Elvis, my blue suede uh, Surface laptop, and it wouldn't show up. I had already tried it on the Mac. It was definitely not showing up there. Tried it on uh, Windows. It wouldn't show up. And I thought, oh, this is bad. Luckily, I had a Linux machine, plugged it in there, was able to gain access to it, fix uh, what was broken. But it was all kind of proprietarily, it was like a proprietary file storage mechanism that made it difficult for anything to access what was on the drive. And that alone is, is an issue. So that's something to bear in mind as well. Uh, if you're going to use old hardware and it's old hardware that's no longer supported, you may have to go to unreliable sources to get your firmware. And at that point, you're really risking everything. So it's not worth it at that point. 
If you enjoyed what you just saw, well, there's more of it. It's all over at twit.tv or just click in the description and you can get links to this very episode. 